Hello. Hello, good evening. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. How are you today? Fine. Fine. Thank you. Good. I'm doing okay. Thank you. Uh, did you read my uh, message that I sent you earlier? In WhatsApp? Behind the yes. WhatsApp chat. Okay. So, uh, welcome. It's eight o'clock. It's June 29th. My name is Francisco Marroquin. I am 48 years old. I have five children and I live in Lourdes. I'm an English teacher and uh, I teach in different places. Well, now with the emergency, it's a little bit different. I'm doing much of the work online. So, uh, but basically that's what I do. I'm married, I have five kids and uh, on a regular basis, I work almost every day. So in my free time, um, I spend time with my kids, stay at home, and that's it. Basically, that's everything you should know about me. So um, may I have the first volunteer to introduce yourself? Remember, practice makes perfect. Volunteer or victim? Uh, okay, I'll be the volunteer. All right, good. Francisco. Okay, my, okay, my name is Francisco Vialta. I work in housing in El Salvador, lives in Metapan. I'm not married yet, and I don't have kids. I have most of part of the time uh, working, and my free time I use it to uh, play basketball and video games, and hang out with my friends and no new places. Good, That's it. very good. Thank you, Francisco. Uh, another volunteer? Time is money. Okay. Yes. Okay, my name is, my name is Lizette Mira. Uh, I live in Metapan and I work uh, in Holcim. Uh, Francisco is my partner in, in my job. Okay. And Good. I used to do exercise because I I like to go to the gym. Oh, good, good. Do you guys yeah. ever visit the branch in Lourdes? Pulse in Lourdes? Uh, San Andres? No. Yeah, San Andres, that's the name, right. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, this is a RMX. Hmm. Uh, plan. Okay. Good, good, very good. Thank you, Lisette. Another volunteer. Remember, practice makes perfect. Time is money. Quickly. Volunteer or victim? Me. All right, you. Okay, my name is Rebecca Monterosa. I live in Metapancho. Uh, I'm not working now, but I was working about three months ago in San Salvador. Um, in my free time, I like to read books and spend time with my parents. I live with my parents and that's it. Okay, good, very good. Thank you. Uh, another volunteer? My turn? Yes, Gabriela. Okay, good night to everybody. My name is Gabriela Salaya. I am 23 years old. I live in Cojutepeque, Um, I'm not working right now, but um, I want to work in a call center in a future. Okay. Um, in the past, I worked at a Banco de Fomento. Um, okay. I'm single. I have, I don't have any kids. I live with my parents, that's all. And hey, it's nice to meet you, everyone. Nice to meet you too. Next volunteer, somebody, anybody. Yes, 
Someone that wants to introduce yourself? Saul, can you hear me? Hello. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh -huh. my, my name is uh, Saul Garcia. I live in Metapan City. Uh, I work uh, I work in Monte Cristo National Park. I am a ranger forest. Good. Uh, I like uh, uh, play soccer. Good, good, very good. Are you from Metapan? Yes. Born and raised. All right, good. Thank you, Saul. Uh, next one, You're Sylvia, welcome. can you hear me? Sylvia Castro. Hola. Hi. Would Hi. you like to introduce yourself? <laughs> uh huh. Ah. Uh. Mm. What part of El Salvador are you now? Can you hear me? Okay, Noeli, Claudia, Annie, Marvin, Jamie. Hey, hello, can you uh -huh. hear me? Okay. Hello, my name is Claudia Rivas. Oh. I, yes, I Claudia. From, I am from Tometapan. Uh, I don't work in right now. In the past, I work in the Unicae. Uh, I'm single. In my free time, I like go to run or maybe do the, some exercise. Good. Or, nice, nice. Thank you, Claudia. Hi, so, teacher. Yes, Marvin. Hi, teacher. Hello. Good morning. Good night. Good evening. Name, How are you? My name is Marvin Orellana. I live in Metapan. I go at housing. I am today learn of better my English. Okay. Good. And are you from uh, from Metapan too? Yes. Okay. Good. Very good. Thank you, Marvin. Uh, someone else? Noeli, Annie. Eduardo? Hi, teacher. Hello again. Um, my name is Silvia Corina Cartagena. Okay. okay. And where are you right now? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, are you in San Salvador, Metapan, San Miguel? Metapan. Oh, Metapan. Where do uh -huh. you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? Yes, where do you work? I work for Inglés Corporativo. Where do you work? Uh huh. Are you working right now? Um, um, I, I you speak Spanish? Yes, I speak Spanish. But we're, we're allergic to Spanish in this class. Um, Okay, that, that's okay, Sylvia. I'm, so, I'm sorry, pero... Don't worry, don't worry. It's all right. Next one, who's next? Who wants to say something? Juan? Hello, teacher. Noeli, yes, Noeli. Hello, my name is Noeli. I am 20, 25 years old. Okay. Uh, for this moment, I live in Metapan. For this moment, no, I do not work, but I just recent graduated the university. Okay. For this moment, I make pictures for sale. Okay. And in my free time, I like uh, I like make dessert and cake, and I like read books and like uh, watch TV and okay. watch series. Good, good. In serious in English. Yes. <laughs> good, very good. Thank you, Noeli. Okay. Who's next? Quickly, time is money. Good evening, teacher. Yes, Eduardo, how are you? I am, I am Eduardo, and my nickname is Edward. I always prefer my nickname. Okay. 
it's Edward. It's okay for me. Um, I really want to learn English because it's very necessary for my life. And in this moment, live in Metapan, and I doesn't, I don't work, and I only study, and I live with my parents. Good, very good. What are you studying, Edward? I am studying for to be an engin engineer. Good. In Eat Cafe Pie. Oh, okay, good, nice. So you go to Itka Santana? Yes, of course, in Santana. Okay, good, very good. Thank you, Edward. Uh, who's next? Who wants to introduce yourself? Anybody? Hi, teacher. Hello, yes, we hear you. Who's talking? Who is talking? Who is talking? Okay, anybody else wants to introduce yourself? Okay, can, can everybody hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, good. Okay, so let me give you uh, instructions about this course. Um, as you know, um, you guys received uh, an email with a link to the WhatsApp chat, a link to the YouTube channel, and a link to the platform. It is necessary, it is imperative that you guys do the exercises in the platform uh, because that's where INSAFOR will evaluate your performance. So the platform is not something optional. Platform is your number one priority in this course. Like I said, if I am in Safor and I want to check how Carlos Medina is doing, I will check the platform and I will see how much work this person is putting in the platform. So the video session is very important as well because this is the place where you guys will have the chance to practice. But uh, most important is your exercises in the platform. So make sure that whatever we covered today, make sure that you don't wait until next week to do the corresponding part to today's class. So my suggestion is, if you have the time right now and you can visit the platform every day, do so. It, 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 that's the best thing you can do. Now, if your time is limited and you're busy or something, uh, try to visit the platform at least once a week. So that way, every week you're doing work and all the assignments do not get accumulated. Um, any questions so far? Any questions or comments? No? Uh, no, it's good. Just once. Uh, yes. I already have to uh, start the, the class and the platform. Okay. Uh, so you saying that we can do this right now or? Um, okay, good. that's a good question. Listen to this. This is for everybody. My suggestion is that like, uh, check the platform first so if there are any questions or comments that you may have related to the answers or the questions you ask me in class now if you prefer to have the session first and then the platform that's okay too but if i were you i would check the platform first because that's where you guys are going to be exactly evaluated so if you're having problems you're having issues with the platform uh doing uh any exercises in particular, you ask me in class. But like I said, that's going to be in your hands, which one you want to do first. Okay, uh, my question was uh, because I, um, before we, we start the video conference, uh -huh. I was uh, doing the practice, uh, seeing the was and where. Okay. I thought we are talking about this in the class. So yeah, that's, that's, what, that's what we're doing. Remember, oh, okay, in, okay. In, in the platform, it's only the computer and yourself. And you're going to be doing uh, reading and writing exercises. So the video session is mainly for you to practice your, your speaking abilities. 
Okay, I get it clear. Thank yep, you. sure. Anybody else has any other questions or comments? Anybody wants to introduce yourself before we go to the first activity? Somebody, anybody? Juan, Saul, Zaira, David, Irania. Anybody wants to introduce yourself? Hi, teacher. Hello, Clara. Uh, my name is Clara. I live in Metapan City. I am a student. In, I don't know, speak egresada. Uh, egressed. You egressed. Yes, I, I egressed of the university. Okay. And only that. <laughs> Okay, good, very good. Thank you, Clara. Okay, anybody else? Anybody else wants to introduce yourself? Remember that we're going to be working together Monday through Thursday from 8 to 9 p.m. Four days a week uh, for four weeks exactly. And you guys are going to be interacting among yourselves uh, so maybe today I will work with Lisette and tomorrow I will get the chance to speak with Jamie. And then on Wednesday, I will have the chance to speak with Sylvia. So you guys will become uh, familiarized with each one of you guys here. Um, any questions before we start? Comments? No? No. All right, so let's begin. Um, who has had the chance to visit the platform? Can you see the document on your screen? Yes. Yes. Okay, uh, who remembers the first topic in the platform? Um, uh, Simple past. <laughs> yes, was, were, and also did. Uh, that is the simple past. Uh, who remembers how many tenses we have in English? How many tenses are there, grammatical tenses? There are 12 tenses in English, 12 tenses. Simple past is one of the tenses that people use a lot. So today we're going to make a comparison of when we use verb to be in past and when we use did. This is a, a small document where I wrote examples that you're going to use was and were for the simple past tense in combination with adjectives. I was late, we were worried, she was nervous, they were early, and you were first. Late, worry, nervous, early, and first, those are adjectives. So whenever you use using was or word, it is mandatory that you use uh, an adjective. You use did only with verbs. Did you send the information? Did they call you? Did she snore last night? Did he eat lunch? So once again, you use verb to be in simple past with adjectives and use did with verbs. Any questions here? No, no questions? Okay. No. Okay, so this is like the introduction. Right now, I'm going to make pairs. You guys are going to be working in pairs. And you will tell your friend what you remember about the 12 tenses, simple present, simple past, past continuous, present continuous. And also, in particular, because this is today's topic, what you guys remember about the simple past. Are you guys ready to start talking among yourselves? You guys ready? I guess so. All right, so you will go in pairs. The question will be what you guys know about the 12 tenses and most important about the simple past. Here we go.
Hello. Noelle, Wendy, and Jamie, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, good. Wendy, can you hear me? Noelle? Yes, teacher. Okay, so did you read the question in the chat? What do you know about the 12 tenses? And uh, if you want to be more specific about the simple past, is it clear? Are the instructions clear? Noelle, Wendy, and Jamie, can you hear me? Really? Yeah. Well, I mm -hmm. see everybody are from Metapan. I'm the only <laughs> for other city. Really? Where are you from? Uh, I am from Metapan. Okay. And who who said that she's not from Metapan? Me, Gabriela. I live in Cojutepeque. Oh, Cojute. <laughs> yes. The sausage city. <laughs> okay, good. In the city. Okay. Hello, teacher. I found the tense. I now remember. You are was talking about the present simple, present continuous, present perfect, present perfect continuous, past simple and future, present, past, and future. Right. So we have 12 tenses. Yes. Uh, the practice will be using the 12 present? No, no, no. Oh. Just to know, uh, to conversate, to speak, how much you know about the 12 tenses, how much you remember. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, just, it's just a general topic. I did, I have, oh, okay, okay. All I right. do did have. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, how are you? I'm fine, teacher, thanks. Good, are you guys talking already? Not yet. Not yet, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Just uh, talk I about, uh -huh. I don't remember well the question, but you said um, how many tenses? tenses? Uh, uh -huh. do you remember? Yeah, there are 12 tenses in English, and the question you're discussing right now is um, you see how much you remember about the 12 tenses. It's just a general uh, conversation. Is it clear? Yes, you said how much. Do how many tenses? Yeah, how much you remember about the 12 tenses? Yes, okay. Right? Okay, I remember about the past participle. Okay. Uh, this, this tense is used with their uh, in past participle and the verb how. Good. Yes. What you guys, talk about? You guys yes. are finished? No. Not no. Yet. Okay. no yet. <laughs> so what have you discussed so far? Um, what have you mentioned so far? Um, the tense in English. Okay. And present perfect and future going to and will. Okay. The past perfect, simple present, present continuous. Mm -hmm. All right, good, very good.
Hello, ladies. Hello. Have you guys uh, spoken about the 12 tenses? What do you remember about the 12 tenses? Simple present, simple past, past continuous, present continuous, and all that. Do you guys remember anything? Um, the simple past. Uh huh. I remember in the interrogative you use in did. Okay, good, good. Yeah, when you make questions, you use did. Yes, right. And, and the verb, uh, I don't know how to say it. Stays, stays, <laughs> base form. It stays in the base form. Be, uh -huh. Okay, good. All right. Teacher, when you're talking down. about. Teacher, when you're talking about 12 terms, you uh -huh. talk about the, the, the grammar. The 12 grammatical tenses, yes. The 12 grammatical tenses. The simple present, the simple past. Uh-huh. Uh, past continuous, future continuous. Past continuous. Yep, okay. exactly. Yes. So let's go back to the main session. Hello. Hello, hello. Hi. You guys finished? All right, let's go back to the main session. Hello again. Hello. Hi, welcome hello. Mark. Wow. All right, so uh, some of you guys were discussing uh, the names of the 12 tenses, past continuous, present continuous, uh, simple present, simple past, and so on. So um, we're going to have time to talk about different tenses. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the simple past in particular. I need a volunteer to explain what the difference is between regulars and irregular verbs. Who wants to answer that question? Uh, I will answer you add, add E and D at the end of the verb. Okay. The irregular verbs, uh, the verbs change completely. Okay, very good. Yes, thank you. Uh, when we talk about regulars, you use ed at the end to conjugate. And when you use ed in the verb, that indicates that the verb is in past. When you're using irregulars, uh, it changes. So an example of regulars will be paint, painted, work, worked, play, played. Irregulars, we will have examples of go, went, um, I bought, see, and saw. So. so those are the differences between regulars and irregulars. Are there any questions so far? No. Okay. okay. So here's another question. question. Um, when we talk about regulars, the ones that finish with ED, that ED has three different sounds. What is the past tense of finish? What is the past tense of finish, class? Finished. Finished. With the T sound. What is the past tense of clean? Clean you. Cleaned. And the past tense of need? Needed. 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 So you have finished with a T, you have cleaned with a D sound, 
and then you have needed or wanted. So let me show you a document where they explain how you are supposed to this one. Okay, that one. Okay, can you see the document? Yes, we can see it. Okay, so as you can see, all this right here, they are regulars. Why? Because they finish the ED when you want to conjugate. So I need a volunteer to read this part here, the introduction, please. Okay, uh, I will be. Thank you. Uh, Elizabeth graduated last summer. I wanted to take her picture. So she smiled and I photographed mm -hmm. I photographed her with some of her friends. All right, good, thank you. So the past tense of graduate is graduated. Want mm -hmm. is wanted, smile it's smiled, and photograph is pronounced photographed. So here we pronounce ED exactly the same way you write it. Here we pronounce a D, and here we pronounce a T sound. So, when Can you to repeat the photograph, please? Photographed. Photographed. Photographed with a T sound. Now, when you say photograph, what is the last sound that you hear? It's an F and exactly. Photograph. It's an F sound. So look here. Here's the explanation. If the termination of the sound is any of the letters we have here, then ED will sound like a T. Okay. So you will say helped, you will say washed, and you will say cooked. Okay. So you will never say help it, you never say wash it, you never say cook it. You will say helped, washed, and cooked. Are we okay, okay with the first group? Yes, yes. Okay. The second group, ED, sounds like a D. So in this case, you will pretend that letter E does not exist. So you will say played, lived, and rained. So when does ED sound like a D? When the termination of the verb are the letters that we have here, including vowels. Can you remind me what the vowels are? How many vowels are there in English? Five. Five, and they are A, E, I, O, U. So once again, if the termination of the verb is any of these here, including A, E, I, O, U, then ED sounds like a D. That is the second group. Any questions in the second group? No? Sure, I, I can listen. It's raining right now. Right, right. I can listen. It's raining right now here. Yeah, it's raining here in Lourdes too. And I will send you an image of this uh, paper to the WhatsApp chat. And the last one is waited, wanted, and needed. You pronounce this exactly the same way you write it when the termination is a D or a T sound. Any questions about this? Uh, I have just once. Uh, yes. We are recording the video uh, yes, conference. Yes, we are. Yes. We can have access uh, of this video conference. Yes. Later? Very good. Uh, that's a good question. In the email that Inglés Corporativo sent you, there is a link to a, um, to a YouTube channel. You click there. And every day I upload uh, uh, the class that we have discussed uh, according to the day. So today's class will be uploaded either today 
or tomorrow uh, tomorrow morning the latest. Okay, thank you for asking for sure. yeah. answering the question. Sure. Okay. So uh, any questions about the image here? No questions? No. All right. So let me show you another one. So uh, share. All right. Do you guys see the document? Yeah. Yes. All right. So you can take a screenshot from from what you're seeing right now, or if you prefer, I will send it to the WhatsApp chat. So what I want you to do is uh, do the first part and practice pronunciation according to the explanation that I just gave you. So you will say, what's the past tense of thick? Thick. The past tense of scratch? Scratched. But make sure that you emphasize in the ED sound. And then you do this exercise as well. Um, any questions about what you will do right now? Remember, when I assign you to work in pairs, don't stay quiet because the main objective of this session is that you guys practice your speaking. Are you guys ready? Yes. All right, so let me reassign you. Room six. Six. Room six. Eight and room eight. Here we go.
Hello, Silvia. Hello. Okay. Can you hear me? Profe, ¿puedo hablar en español? Yes, you can. Es que yo, yo estudié el primer, eh, el, el básico. Oh, ok. Pero resulta que yo, yo no, casi no entiendo, o sea, en el que estamos ahorita, porque algunas palabras que las entiendo y otras no las entiendo. Ya. Yeah. Entonces me está costando, me está costando. Ok. So, ¿le gustaría moverse a, 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 a un básico? Mejor al básico. Ok, está bien. Eh, voy a, mándeme, ahí está mi nombre, ya, ya es parte del, del WhatsApp chat usted. Ya. Yeah. Ok, so, mándeme su nombre completo, okay. mándeme su nombre completo y yo la voy a reportar para que, para ver si la pueden pasar a un, a un básico. La idea es que, que, que okay. esté en un grupo donde, donde está bien usted. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so send me a, a message with your name. <laughs> yes. No, it's o sea, la práctica es la que no, casi no entiendo. Sí. O sea, practicarlo, porque hay algunas palabras que las entiendo, pero, um, pero no se me está pasando. Ok, don't worry, don't worry. Voy a hablar con el administrador para ver si la pueden cambiar. Pero mándeme ahorita su nombre completo. Por favor. Please. Ok, good, no problem. ¿Dónde me agregaron en el chat nuevo? Eh, sí, eh, donde le acabo de enviar las imágenes. ¿Le pongo mi nombre de, de este grupo o le pongo mi nombre como está en el grupo? No, eh, como aparece en el grupo, como aparece en el grupo. ¿Cómo se inscribió? ¿Cómo se inscribió? Ok. All right, good. Gracias. No problem. Look. Look it. Look. Push. Look. Can you repeat, please? Look. Look. Yes. Look. Words in the other, I don't know how to say, what? The other chart? Oh, teacher. <laughs> you are here. What, 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 is, oh what, is, what, what is the question? What? Do, do you have a question? Uh, no? I don't, I don't know the meaning uh, of the song words. Okay. Uh, are you talking about this part here? the first chart yes okay yeah. all right now right now it is good that you know the meaning of the words but my main concern is that you guys practice the ed pronunciation in the same <coughs> fast okay teacher. yes okay. all right hey we continue with the other Hello, teacher. Hello. We had a problem because I don't understand, but I only write the verse and I only had the practice, the verse, or what are you doing? Yes, um, you're practicing the ED pronunciation. Oh, okay, teacher. Thank yeah, you. So, uh, yes. Teacher. Yes, sir. Where? Where I can the verbs? I have this uh, cell phone. I have a computer. I okay. don't know what I do here. What I do here? Okay. Right now, your main exercise is to practice ed in past tense. So you will say, "What is the past tense of okay. scratch? Scratched." The can past you, tense. Can you repeat? Can you repeat? Oh, sure. Sure. What you need to do, what you need to practice, uh, you're practicing the ED pronunciation in the simple past. 
Oh, so okay. that's why you're working in pairs. And you said, okay, what's the past tense of scratch? Oh, the past tense what of I scratch look, is scratched. What I look best? What I look best? What do you mean? I have. I have a problem. And okay. I can I can I don't can listen. Oh, okay. Have you checked your look, earphones? Look, see, the the problem is right right now here. Right, right. Uh, yes. I just I just look today tonight. Maybe tomorrow is the time much more available, but I don't can listen. Right, right. So yes, uh, so if you cannot hear me, um, I, I, I will send the instructions written. Hello, hello. David and George. Hello. All right, uh, did you guys finish practicing? No. No, you're practicing right now. George, can you hear me? Did George speak to you, David? Did George talk with you? David, uh, did you speak with George? Repeat. Did you speak with George? I don't know. Okay, has he said anything? Hablado con Jorge? No. Okay, so let me let me make some changes. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? Uh, fine, thanks. Uh, I was talking with Saira. He yeah. just uh, don't get add to the group. Uh, I was talking with Sylvia to add her. Uh, okay. So he can, he can see the picture. Okay, good. Okay. Yeah. The exercise right. was uh, identify the... ED pronunciation, that's it. Okay. Yes. Profe, una pregunta. Yes, ask me. Um, esa prueba que esa ese script que mandaron en el grupo es como una prueba. ¿Cuál el que cuál la, eh, a qué se refiere Silvia? Uh, en el grupo nuevo mandaron una es como un una invitación. Una tarea, una tarea. Vamos a ver. Lo que están explicando. Sí, eso es eh, para como están trabajando en parejas. Eh, ¿Cómo ah. se llama? Por si no lo logra ver bien desde su pantalla. Por eso se los envía al, al WhatsApp uh, chat. Ah, pero es como una tarea, una prueba. No, no, es solamente lo que estamos ocupando ahorita. Si a usted se le hace más factible ocupar su teléfono, eh, lo puede hacer ocupando el WhatsApp chat. Y si no, pues puede agarrar una captura de la pantalla que estoy compartiendo con ustedes ahorita. Entonces, eso tenemos que resolverlo. Sí, sí. You have to fix it. ¿Ahorita o de tarea? No, no. Es, eh, es ambas. Es para que usted trabaje en pareja, pero también para que practiquen su tiempo libre. Ah, ok. Yes. La, sí, más o menos las la entiendo. Ok, good, very good. Para responderla. No okay. como... ¿Ah? All right, good. Solo de practicar la, la, la pronunciación de ED en tiempo pasado. En tiempo pasado. Yes, it's only practicing. Why with me? Hello, Hi. ladies. Yes, sir. Did you guys finish practicing? Uh, yeah, we think so. <laughs> okay, good. All right, let's go back to the main session. Okay.
All right, can everybody hear me? Yes. yes. All right. So um, the ED sound that you guys were practicing uh, today, the same rule that you apply to pronounce ED in the simple past form, you use exactly the same rule when you're pronouncing adjectives. So you will say excited, tired, um, exhausted. So the same rule that the chart explains, you will apply the same rule when you're practicing uh, adjectives that finish in ED. Um, any questions or comments about today's class? No, everything's Okay, so the images that I sent you is for you to practice in pairs while we are doing the exercise in class. And also, if you want to do some extra practice when you are alone, you're more than welcome to. Um, any questions or comments about today's class? Teacher, I have a problem. Yes, one. Other problem. And yes. My phone is my phone is broke. I don't look the image. Oh. I can do the exercise today. I can do the exercise today, but tomorrow maybe I can teach other phone or, or other computer. But okay. I, today I can I can do nothing. That, I can that's, do nothing. That's okay. Don't worry. Uh, remember that but, this. Uh huh. But I can profession. Okay, can you please repeat? I lost the last part. Okay. Uh, my broke my phone is broke, but I I can I just can listen uh -huh. and look. Maybe tomorrow I I can sure. search a computer sure. or another phone. But but today but today I don't can. Yeah, you cannot do it today. Don't worry. Remember that you received an email and there is a link to the YouTube channel so everybody can check uh, today's class in the uh, YouTube channel too. Okay, anybody else has any other comments or questions yeah. related with today's this, class? This class is in the channel? It, it's in a, in a YouTube channel, yes. Okay. So remember, it's available, in, it's, it's available on Facebook. Uh, it's also available on Facebook. Yes. Yes, and and I sent okay. you um, okay. an an image earlier for you to. Um, do you can you see this? Can you see this uh, email? Oh, I well, but anyways, check your email and there is a link where you can access to the YouTube channel. Okay. Anybody else has any other questions or comments? Okay. Okay, so we're going to stop here. Um, I'm going to upload today's class uh, right now. And uh, Thank you again for making the time. I'll be seeing you tomorrow at 8 o'clock. You guys have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night, night. everyone. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Good night. Sleep well. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, guys.